A grass fire fueled by hot, dry conditions has been burning out of control in Sydney's west. The fire is believed to have started in the suburb of Kasula, spreading to the community of Watergrove and the Holsworthy military base and Holsworthy Hospital. Thick smoke spread across the city's south, with residents in the immediate area advised to shelter in place as the fast-moving fire took hold. Fire crews say the blaze started near Kasula train station. Ten fire and rescue trucks were called to the scene, supported by aircraft. And joining me now from the New South Wales Rural Fire Service is the Deputy Commissioner Rob Rogers. Deputy Commissioner, what can you tell us about the latest situation? Good evening. Uh, look, as you described, that fire has burnt uh, throughout uh, the afternoon towards Heathcote Road and it has affected that area around uh, Wattle Grove, Sandy Point, Pleasure Point, Voyager Point. Um, the warnings still remain in place for those communities. The fire behaviour is starting to ease, but we've got a lot of work to do before we get this fire under control. So the emergency warning stays in place. Crews are going to look at starting back burning along Heathcote Road to try and stop that fire jumping Heathcote Road and threatening Menai. So the focus at the moment is to halt the progress of that fire east and contain it to the west of Heathcote Road. But for residents in the area, it will be a very long night. Back to you. While you're trying to contain the fire, what advice are you giving residents? Well, we've asked people to stay in, in place just simply because um, there's a lot of fire trucks going in to protect properties. Some of these roads are quite narrow uh, and, and often it was too late to leave. So we've asked people to remain where they are uh, and those people that were sort of further to the east, we've said to them uh, if they chose to leave, then leave early. So if those people have left, then they won't be allowed back in yet. Um, but obviously between police and the fire agencies working as hard as we can to enable people to get back to their homes as quickly as possible. Deputy Commissioner Rob Rogers, thank you so much.